I'm having them both today. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Whilst my mother-in-law is away, I am feeding the cat every day. And every day, she leaves Ada a little envelope with sweetie bits in it. Ada, Thursday, love Nana. Aww. Gross. Thank you, Nana. What is it? <gasps> Let me see. What is that? For me. What the f- <laughs> I think Nana ran out of treats. <laughs> To be fair, they're nice. That's a nice sound, nice alarm, isn't it? We've got Mummy with us today and Ada. All right, come on then. Morning. Hello, how are you doing? She's actually here today. Hello, George. How are you? This Hi, is Mummy. Nice to see you. I'm pretty sure that's got some of the... Hello. Hello. Right, Emma, I need you to find me some bargains. Okay, what is that, actually? All about America. What? Another hockey thing. You haven't even got one. What are you talking about? I donated loads of stuff in here the other day, and now it's all it's all coming back out. Good price on that one. I donated that. Donated that. That. Lots of stuff. But now what happens is it draws my eye. That. That. My eye's drawn to it. BT Paragon. Let's have a little look. <laughs> Check oh, you out. Pre-owned. Click this one, filter, and then sold. Uh, good, good, good try. Good try. <laughs> I would never even thought about looking that up. I'm gonna leave that one. All right, let's have a quick look in here. Before we go. What's here? Quick little search. Right, Ada, are you ready to go? Is there tidy? Are you sure? No. Don't think we are. That's what I always say to her. Make sure everything's tidy, then we can go. Hey, we're here on business, don't forget. Good, good, you're right. Well, Ada, come on. Three, two, one. Wait, what is that? Hello. Mimi. Well, let's look on that then. And that was all just because the label looked different, so that's why I grabbed it. I'm actually going to buy something. Hey. Just thought. <laughs> really suits you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah? Don't say for mummy. <laughs> oh no, it's for me. Yeah. Oh, daddy. Yeah. That's not good, is it? <laughs> They've got all day yet, they might get lucky. <laughs> First pickup, new label, never heard of it, that'll do. Where are we? Cool, good chat. He always gets all the games. It's beat me. Oh, straight away, look at that. Sorry. Six quid. Hello. How are you? Very good, thank you. How are you doing? Good, good. Toy factory. I know, I've seen him. He always beats me to the games. Oh no, it's alright, there's, there's a system. What model is it? Okay, is it the fat one? It's got the four USB, no, just the two. How much do you want for that one? 20. I'll have a little think about it. Technic CD player with the remote for a tenner. The remote will probably go for a tenner. And it's a mash. I think that's coming with us. I'll just double check first though, but I'm pretty sure that's coming. Yeah, we'll do that. Because they all have no remote. See, with the remote, these are no remote, no remote. Do you know what sort of testing it's had? Have you just turned it on and see if it turns on? Is that it? Yeah, that I mean, we've, we've got a TV available if you want to have a little... No, recording. it's only a CD player. Yeah. It's not a DVD player. It's not a CD? No, a it's CD. A CD. That's yeah. a CD player? Yeah. Blimey, okay. Wow, that's a big CD player. Do you want to plug it in? It's for a stack system, so you stack them up. Uh, what, have you got another stack? Awa. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not, it's, it's, it's different. Of course, that's my favourite place. Wait, mummy, please, just for a minute. Yeah, electricals and stuff is kind of like my favourite. 
I think this is the only shop in Hampshire that I've not been out the back of yet. <laughs> this is massive. I know. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. You crack on, have a look and see if you like the look of it. Okay, right, where do I start? Okay. <laughs> I'll just bring stuff out. Okay, <laughs> okay. Okay, I might, I might be able to help you. Right, let me do some research. And... I don't know. I like my electrical so. oh, That's a fast charge. What is that? Toner, but it's been used by the look of it. If I had the remote, I'd do it. HDD recorder. That's got to be for that one, isn't it? That's going to be for that one. What's here? What is that? Bush. Breville. Ah, TP links. These are always handy. What's this? I haven't got lost, I promise. I'll always find stuff. I need to know what's in here though, because this is intriguing me. Is it a bazooka? What do you call it? What are they called? Pull down thing. Panasonic DMC FZ8. You must get so much stuff in here then. Hello. Oh, hello. So I thought it was. I'm Hazel. Hello, Hazel. I'm just. I'm over the nose. I'm seeing, I'm seeing if I can relieve of some stuff. You must get so much stuff. Oh, we do. <laughs> get overwhelmed. That's what I mean. But I like to buy things like. I like to buy lots of things at a time. Good. That's what we like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's definitely looking. Well, there's a lot in there. Well, you need to fix it, no. Just, Just whatever is about. All right. <laughs> I buy and sell things. Oh, do you? But I also buy things for us. Oh, you got access as well, have you? No. Oh. <laughs> yes. We. You shouldn't. You shouldn't be out here. <laughs> okay, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Pikachu Toy Factory. Castles yeah, no, it's not worth it. Bag or a basket or something. I'm gonna... Them? Shut up. <laughs> Man, if that was real. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, I've just, just sold the jumper of that. Now we've got the vest. What's a result? Is this ready to go out? Um, yeah, it, 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 look, it looks priced. Yeah. I'm going to go and ask if I can get a basket or something. Oh, actually, I'll use this one if that's alright, just for a second. Just because I've, I've got lots of stuff down there, that's all. It's just easier buying it in bulk than it is picking through everything. Some for you and some to sell. Some for me, some for them, some to sell, yeah. Just it makes things a little bit easier. Good. Well, depends. Yeah. Depends what she's going to charge me now. I might have to put it all back yet. I'll let you have a look. You tell me what you're going to do. You tell me. I'll look at your rail while I'm here. What are you after? Got a plate? No, You've got lots of pepper books. I haven't even looked at the shop floor yet. Oh, is it? Oh, okay, no worries, no worries. Right. I didn't even know what it was. It's a microwave tester. What's that? Um, we get microwave in, you know, like a pack tester. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I, I see things like that. If they're weird and wonderful, I'll, I'll buy them. Oh, no, it's all right. Don't worry about that. I didn't even know what it was. Ada, what book do you want? Do you even want a book, Ada? What about some, li what about some lovely unicorn tape so you can tape things up? And every time you do this, they go, whoop, and it's sticky. What do you, what, so let, me have, let me have a look in there, no one had a price. Stop. <laughs> Wait, stop. Oh, wait, if that's a 10. Is that just for this bag or is that for, is that for this as well? No. Oh. Well, I was going to do it just for that. Oh, okay. Let me have a look. Let me have a look. All I, did, all I did was grab stuff. What's that? 
40 for it all? If you're happy with that, yeah, I'm yeah, happy yeah that's that. fine, yeah. Perfect. Let's do it. Ada? And you can pop them in, you can have those. Oh, you oh, lucky girl. Good. Do this, look, watch, 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 watch. See, see, this, see the bit just there? Ready? Pull. And then you go. Hup. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he's sleeping, when he's snoring. Yeah, she will as well. I think he does something, but I don't know. Oh my goodness gracious me! I need to get. I need to get so much cuter. Well, yes. Wow. Thank you. We have to charge Daddy, but you're. That's fine. Right, bye. Ada really, really likes freeview players, CD players. Yeah, she loves them. Right. Thank you, thank you again. So that was a nice little result in that last one. Hi. Oh look, hi, hi. Right. Right. That's there, I'm in the charity shop. She went, yeah, I'm going to drop some stuff off. Ricky will have a look through what you're dropping off. No, you chop it in there first. <laughs> I'm trying to get rid of DVDs and they won't take them. Oh, no. really? Yeah, I'm like, oh. I'll take them. So you actually, yeah. if you want them, be my guest. <laughs> I mean, most of them, I've got somebody that will take them. Yeah. yeah. DVDs normally it's one in a hundred that I can use. Yeah. But there's no point you can around my car's just there. Yeah. And I can, if, I, if not, I've got a place where I'm going to on the way home. Yeah. Um, the cats and dogs, and they will take them. Oh, that's great. Yeah, they both refuse. Let me, get, let me get rid of them. Okay, you're ready. Yeah, they're all right. Yeah, worst case scenario for her, they will go to the cats and dogs yeah, protection. Is, there, is there any deals on the door today, or is it just normal? Oh, well, I never know. I might find, might find a nice. Ladies are a pound. That could be interesting. Oh, ten quid though. I'm sorry, after you. Can I pay a tenner for it? Ten quid. Some of them go for. Day. What's the sell free rate though? Pre-owned, twenty-four. I'm gonna go for it. Levi Roots dish. I think I'm gonna go for that. Let me look at the Levi's Roots dish. Levi Roots. Met Levi Roots once. Yep. Eleven ninety nine. I'm not gonna go for it. Can't bother. Got all these vintage rubbers. I might have to. Look at that. Two pounds for all those vintage rubbers. Just can't be bothered. Look up NASA. There could be some things. There could be some good bits in there, but. Come on, Mummy. Come on, Mummy. good for your school. Ada, listen, what do you want? What's the matter? No, I don't want you. <laughs> I like mummy. Mummy. Very nice. Cheers, Ada. Clothing half price. Oh, Included new half price shoes and bags. Okay. The Crusade Toblerone? What is that? 50 nickel though. 50 squid. Come on your way, mate. Where are you no, going? I don't want to bash don't you up. Me, mate. Everything's half price today. All the clothes are half price anyway today. So whatever you see on the label, it's half price. <laughs> Is it half price Thursday? There's always a sign on the door before you come in telling you what's happening for the day. Like a um, I am a little bit. <laughs> I am a little bit. Four pounds for some big. Wow, oh, that's got a hole in it. It's my favourite. Another St. Michael. I haven't been here for a very long time, so I'm hoping there's some fresh stockage. Some clothing. Gotcha. Price Lovely, thank you so much. You are right? How are you? I'm not too bad, are you? Good. good, good. How's the little girl? She's over there. Oh, Mum's in today as well. Hello. Mum exists. Hello, Mum. Hello. <laughs> so, with this, I'm looking, for, I'm looking for like big business branding like Kellogg's, Coca Cola, things like that. Mm. Like weird things. I'm looking for things that have use, like meat slices, <laughs> things, just stuff that has a use. And anything that's designed to be a statement piece. Like, for example, that could be a branded box, so I'll check that it's not. 
Things like this, if there's a full set of four, there's obviously 60s, made in France. Thank you. What does it say? Oh, here you go, Dad. Oh. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> say, so, see you again. That's Kenny. Hello. Henley the Comfish. Top gun, no fear, sold cow, signature. Tom so that could be a good one. Calvin Klein, 700. Wow, school disco. Spiky hair and. Green, the day. who knows? Spliffy? <laughs> Spliffy jeans. Eclipse. How much are you? Four pounds fifty. Yes, please. A bit warm, but four and a half squidder. I think we'll take it for that, don't you? As long as it's not in battered condition. Oh, she's Lovely gorgeous. Yeah. So well behaved. Yeah, she's all right. We, she gets it. She gets a pass. Yeah, but those eyes, I would just yeah have that. <laughs> <laughs> But hey, the find to make daddy likes and then show him your eyes. <laughs> the house of bread, I don't normally pick it up, but I'm going to give it a bash. Hello, hi. Yeah. How are you? Yeah, that's too bad, isn't you? Good. Oh, oh no, yeah, it comes back now. You've been robbed? Oh, we just, just found some labels. It's Adidas one of Yeah, Adidas, yeah. yeah. I might give it a bash, you know. Yeah, I might give it a bash. Just because, you know, it's an older label. Norwegian? Sorry, I'm on your way. It's dumb. But those people will never last too long in life, so it doesn't matter. They don't last long. They have a, they have a little run. Nothing, nothing good will ever happen to them. Oh, yeah. It's going to be what she found to show you. <laughs> Whenever there's pink stuff, she always says to me, Let me take these one. Let me, let me, let me. Oh, maybe it's these. Where's she gone? Maybe it's these. Have you checked the size? They're brand new. Let's have a look at the tag. Run shoes, size five and a half, UK, US. That's them. There you go. They were just there. Nah, too mucky. For you, there may be. You, you need to start thinking about that when you're out, just grabbing bits to reload on your store. How much are they? Nah, not worth it. The thing is, these, they're a tenner, but these are a chunky boots, especially, especially like six months ago. Gold ones! Gold ones, mummy! Gold ones! Nice and quiet! Yeah, yeah. Be careful of nits and stuff, don't you? Get holes in too easy. Please, might give you my postcode. I haven't got my card for the loyalty. I think there's a five on. I might use it actually. Oh, fine, Lee, Elder Lee. And now it's taking it's a five off. pound off. So that's ten pounds. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you. And you're on your card, yeah? Yeah, please. I'll have a round number. There you go. Glass. That's my glass thing broken. It is in bubble wrap. So I'm not going to look at it. <laughs> there you go. I'm just not going to look. I'm going to take my image of it. Right. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hey, Dad. No, he hurt himself. He needs a plaster. Right, let's go. This way. I was going to kiss him. Go on then, give him kisses then. Come on then. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, I should blow you a kiss. <laughs> and you got one back. Hello. Got the whole family today. Some DVDs. Can you sell DVDs or not? We do, but we don't as well. Okay. But the ones we don't, you can use it magpie them. So do you want, do you want these ones? Yeah. yeah. 
I, I, did, I did double check before I came in last time. Yeah, no, that's Do you want them out of the back or in here? No, bring them down. For sure? I'll take a moment to check the one. Oh, okay. One there. Yeah, no worries. Brilliant. Okie dokie. Yeah. I think I bought it all the last time I was there. Why are there no babies in here? There's no babies in here today. Why? All puppies. Puppies are gone as well. Okay. So, yeah, I want to have some special kisses on Daddy. What do you say? Thanks, Daddy. Who's the best? Please, please, first. <laughs> Who's the best, Mummy or Daddy? Mummy. <laughs> what can I say? Unlucky. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to have a look. I'm going to have to research it just in case four marks tells me off now I've seen this. I don't think there's anything here for us today. Come on then. Hey, what's this? Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Thirteen fifty, two thousand and five. How much is the cup? Pound, yeah. We'll take it for that. I mean, it's something. Well done, oh, well done girls. You both, you both lasted. After you. Thank you. Got it. Got it. Thank you, mate. Oh, busy, busy today. Hello. Hello, Mama. You're right. It's a massive slinky. Hello. You right? Good. This is Emma, by the way. Hello. Hi, Emma. Oh, this is Natalie. Are you? Yeah. Oh, bless you. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> You're up for sale, Vicky. You're up. <laughs> You're up for discounts this week. Yeah. Discount? Yeah, yeah. He, um, he's our little half a daily. Half a daily. I'm going to get him a pork pie hat. Oh, got, uh, there's nothing here to buy. You got anything for me to buy? Oh. Have you got anything that hasn't made out yet? You can, look, you can have a look what's just come in this morning if you want. Um, have, a, have a quick picture. I'm in the mood to unload loads of loads of credits. <laughs> what? That's Linky. I'll buy it. Right? <laughs> we can buy it. Do you want to buy it? Do you want to take it home? Okay, we can do that. I swear to God, if that's a five, I'm going to go mad. Oh, you're lucky. It's nice and cheap. We can take it home. Can show you what you're doing at home, mate, yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm on your way. Emma back in the garage. I really enjoyed that today. Emma's got an eye for this type of thing and she does have the heart for it as well. She does do a little bit of selling on Vinted. So I believe that with a right little bit of direction, she'd be able to do really well at this. And I know she's keen to do something like this as well. If she can supplement her income, she'd be game. So that'll be the end goal. I picked up a few things, spent a bit of money, had some access to a shop in the back that I've never had before. And it just kept going on and on and on. It was massive. But I'll show you what I picked up anyway. Some good little bits and some strange little bits too. Let's get into it. Some of you who follow my Instagram channel would have seen this. I have sold this yesterday, but the long sleeve version. And it was really nice to see this one. So I've never seen the vest before. I've never even seen the long sleeve before. Yesterday I paid. In fact, I've just realized it's from the same shop. This just obviously hasn't came out before. So last week I picked up two Hugo Boss jumpers. I paid eight pound each for them. And I sold the long sleeve version of this yesterday for 45 pound. And the seller actually paid about 78 pound GSP. Four pounds 50 on this one. Fantastic. In fact, that's what's on the label. I actually paid £40 for everything from that shop. So that's the shop that I went out the back of. So I'm probably going to go through that first just to keep it simple. So on the label was £4.50 for this. I'm probably going to list it for the same amount of money as the last one, simply because that one sold rapid. We'll give it a bash at £45 again on that one. Some Supergas, they have that kind of like netting look, almost like see-through, webby net type look. I don't know how much these were. They wasn't priced up. I just bundled a bag together and I paid... £30 for the bag and then £10 for a unit but I'll show you that in a second so all of this cost £30 that I'm going to show you now so I don't know what the price was I don't know maybe a couple of quid I should imagine when you break it down great condition I'm going to list these for around about £20-£25 only because they're a little bit different Superga is a great little brand so it sells quickly we've got a bunch of hats now I picked up this one it's a it's a billabong only because it's an older one it's quite like it's gold, it's speckly, it's sparkly I'm going to estimate these about a tenner each it's an older one it's got an old tag on it Snapback Daytona 500 2016 NASCAR. It is a new era as well. So again, maybe 15 on that one, 10 to 15. Standard Under Armour. This did have a price tag of a pound on it. 
but I don't think I paid a pound. So it's a size small, probably eight quid on that one. I didn't mean to pick this one up. It must've fell into the bag. Robin Roof, San Francisco, probably will still list it. Maybe, I don't know, a few quid. Didn't actually intend to get this one. Vintage beer hat. I'm not even gonna try and name it. It's made in the USA. It's on that old tag. LA Anheuser-Busch beer. Maybe German, possibly. Probably 10, 12 quid. Aberdeen Asset Management Scottish Open. It's on that Nike tag, so that's why I picked it up. Again, I just grabbed these as part of a bundle. I was just pulling things in and filling the bag. A nice Vans off the wall on that vintage trucker style cap. I don't think it is vintage. I think it's quite quite modern. 2017, but it's got like a nice, almost plummy, purpley type colour. Well, it's a plum, not plum. That's too, too shallow. And a cash money hat. Only because when I was when I was growing up, everybody wanted the cash money stuff. I mean, maybe a tenner on that. But even just saying that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hats that are worth at least ten. There's seventy quid in hats there. The Robin Roof one, I'll probably just I don't know. I'll still list it. Lies. I don't want to be telling porkies on the internet. Don't tell. I'm me. looking at you, Ricky Lee. Always lying. Yeah, he kind of rounds it up, doesn't he? Yeah. But to be fair, it is. It is broken. MXQ Pro. I can't remember exactly what this is. I will be putting some screenshots up of the things that I can't tell you much about. But I think it was like a free sati type thing. There was a 5G version that I was selling for about 35 quid. I think this one sells for 20, 25. I'm proving myself right or wrong just here. I can't exactly remember on this one. I've never heard of it, never seen it. But it's got a remote with it. It's got the transceiver here. Yeah, hopefully 20, 25 quid on it. I'll let you know I put up there, won't I? Samsung fast... Samsung fast charge dock. I've sold these before. I think these get about 8 to 11 pounds, something like that. I know 8 to 11 is a weird number, but that's just the number it goes for. Remember rightly. I've got a charging lead for it. TP links. This one still has the plastic wrapped around it. So probably unused. However, I'm going to have to sell it as pre-owned. Never leave these things behind. Anything TP link, always have a look out for. I've always picked up TP Link boosters and range finders and things like that. But um, they've been off my radar for a while until my friend Ricky started jabbing me again saying, stop leaving them behind. So Ricky, if you're watching this, you have definitely sparked my interest in them again. Panasonic Freeview player with remote. It's got a 500 gigabyte hard drive. Should be looking around about 35 to 40 quid back on that. I have seen listings go for as high as 65 as well. So I'll have a good look, wipe the hard drive, test it all out, get some cracking photos and try and command the highest, of course. But I don't want to sit on it. So we'll see what happens with that. But at least 35 pound back on that, probably more. And they're both, again, Freeview players, and that, again, courtesy of my friend Ricky. Sagem, another Freeview player. This is 120, no, 250 gigabytes on this one. It's boxed. It's not brand new, I don't think, but it is wrapped in its plastic inside, but I think somebody's just put it back in there. Uh, once had a price tag of 36.99. This, again, will go for around about 35 to 40 pounds, so that's a nice little sale there. Pure Charge Pack A1. These go for, like, the little DAB radios that Pure do. They sell quite a lot on their own because you can actually plug them in through the mains, but if you have these, which a lot of them don't come supplied with, you can take them out with you. You can charge this up and then take the radio with you. Whereas before you have to keep it in the mains. Uh, these go for about 15 to 20 pound pre-owned. So that's fantastic. Nice little bundle. <laughs> yeah. Future Ricky here. Let me just tell you a little story about that charge pack, shall I? I drafted loads of stuff yesterday and I scheduled it to go live today at eight o'clock. Ten listings. Had a sale come through today. The charge pack. Sweet. Nice one. Sold it for a pound. I must have put the price in wrong. But not only that, the cheeky bastard used the 10% discount code as well. <laughs> Don't hate the player head game. And a Technic CD player. This looks very 90s to me. It's got the MASH CD. With the remote, I'm looking at around about £70. People are getting £50-odd pound without the remote. So with the remote, at least £70. It's in great condition. Nice little dust-up. That'll be sound. I'm just getting this tested, ready to list it, and we've got a problem. So obviously NAS is the OG disc. I've had this for three years now. It reads as no disc. That could just be a matter of it needs a CD lens cleaning. So I'll have a little look and see if it is that. If not, I'm gonna have to sell it for spares and repairs. The remote itself will go for 17 to 20 pound. This spares and repairs might go for 25 to 30. If it was in great condition, well, you can see what it's worth, but 
not too sure. So I'm going to take these screws off here. I mean, it's not a big job at all whatsoever. Have a look at the laser and see what's going on. To get a new laser for these, you're talking 30 to 40 pound. It's just, it's just not worth it for me. For 10 pound paid, which is probably less than that now, I did a bundle deal. I'd rather sell it as spares repairs. But I'll have a quick little look now. It's not a big job. Right, so we've got the back off. What I need to do is get into this laser and have a little look and see if there's any big buildup of dust in there. Now, most of you will be saying, why don't you just do a disc cleaner? Because it's probably a very old piece of kit that hasn't been done. Nothing's happened to it for a very long time, which means it might need a bit of alcohol on there. So I'm going to do that. And then we'll see what happens. There's a the laser just there. So I need to take this little bridge off here and get into it. I don't know if you can see, there's a thick film sitting over that lens. Camera's not picking it up very well. So I'm gonna get some alcohol on that and then go from there and see if that does the job. If it does, happy days. If not, it's not a big deal. Didn't pay much for it. Right, so all I'm gonna do first, I've taken some alcohol. I've got a cotton bud and I'm just going to dry wipe first get any like thick dust residue off and I'm going to use the other side even though it's already evaporated hold on <laughs> stuff's evaporating quick time see evaporating before my eyes look and just get rid of all the excess just give it a nice little wipe over just to really clean that laser head off look at that it's gleaming now just let the air dry the alcohol up maybe just dab the edges a little bit well what I don't want is any cotton bud fibers to ruin it Let's see what that does. So this is the risk that you get with buying electricals and things like that. Let's see if it picks a disc up. No disc, so it's not even spinning. I remember a trick when I was a kid, you used to open it up and then as you close it, press skip, 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 like this. And it used to catch the disc, but it's not picking it up at all. So it's worth a Google search. Now I don't know the answer to any of this. Some of you are probably watching going, it's because of this, but I don't know. So I'll do a quick little Google search. I've had a quick look on Google and they're talking about a capacitor and a potential motor that spins the disc tray, the disc spindle thing round. I'm not technical. So I'm just going to sell it as spares or repairs. So it's in great condition and somebody who has the knowledge and or a spare laser mechanism in there or something will just switch it out and have a nice working bit of kit. So it won't sit around too long. Massive shame though. Little 90s Sistema handheld game. I can't work out which game it is yet. Google Images isn't giving me much, but it was made in October 1991. These go from anywhere between five to 55 pound for these little handheld ones. So I've got to find out what it is. A couple of British and best Vulcan army Velcro patchy things. I wasn't sure on the value. I just paid a pound each. I have no idea if it's worth it or not, but I was on the way out of the shop, so I grabbed them. These are awesome. Budweiser braces. There you go. It's lost a bit of the elasticity but they're still there and they're still very, very good. Comps of these are going for around about 30 pound, anywhere from 20 to 25, up to 30 pound. I think these were only a pound, so smashing. This was the first thing that I picked up today, only because the label, I saw the label and it looked very sort of like it was a bit older and a bit more worthwhile. And what I mean by that is they took pride in the label, so they're probably take pride in their clothing as well, which means they might have built themselves a reputable brand and it was made in the USA. That's my logical thinking. That's what made me look at it. So I've just given you an insight into what made me even look at it. I've never heard of the brand before. Moo Moo. And the tagline is, show me your Moo Moo. Make it as you will. £3.25, anywhere from £15 to £50. We'll have to have a look at that and see where we go. We're moving into that season now, aren't we, where this is going to be a bit more desirable. So fantastic. Timberland dual layered jacket, double XL. So you've got the outer jacket, which is this like beigey, almost like, uh, what do they call it? Like moleskin kind of feeling look into a zip in hoodie. So it's dual layered, paid six pounds for that one. Bargain, probably 30, 35 pound. Could even be a little bit more. I've obviously got to do the research first and find out. But six pounds, come on. Brand new with tags, Smiler, Alton Towers, roller coaster ride, merch, top. Pre-owned, these are selling for around about $29.99. So I thought, brand new with the tags for a tenner. Got to be able to push 40, surely. Easy to pack, easy to list. £10, hopefully we can get that. It's got like a nice sort of, um, what do you call it, like a vinyl print almost. I'm guessing this lights up, not lights up, but reflects that little slimer. See it moving around? I thought I'd sold something then. Levi's Big E, these are the 514. They are the premium lines. So they're modern, they're not like a, these are the Levi's premium. They're modern, they're not, they're not like the old Big E, which you want to look out for. But still, eight pound, half price, four pound, 
we'll take that at least 18 to 20 pound back on them sometimes you can push 25 ish give or take we go track 10 i oh, know i can't say I, can't, I don't know if i'm pronouncing that right or not but again it was another one of them things where the label got my attention to so see what i mean looks very sort of norwegian almost or even german kind of that sort of look do you see what i mean do you know what i mean by that with those little people on there so it drew my attention it's like a nice knit cardigan so it looks quite different it's like somebody's put a bit of effort into it it was four pound no idea on the value of that i'm going to estimate around about 30 pound but if i get 20 pound happy days if i get even more fantastic nice like a mustardy yellow kind of color not my size brasher lightweight fleece very lightweight actually four pounds fifty paid on that i'm going to estimate about 15 quid strangely brasher clothing doesn't sell as well as the boots like the tops and the trousers the boots fly out these not so quickly but for four pounds fifty in the condition that it's in and it's a nice size as well double xl easy pick up 15 18 pound give or take i've given in to all the youtube videos i'm seeing everybody picking up house of brewer never picked it up before it's 100 percent pure virgin lamb's wool four pound like a nice plum color this is this is plum nice plum color no idea on value i think it's around about 20 25 pound but i'll look into it properly screenshots will all be up here somewhere four pounds paid coca-cola royal caribbean cup this is two i've done some research it's 2005 in fact this is just sales date as well 2005 paid a pound they're selling for around about 15 quid it's an easy pick up easy list no messing around there so for a pound i'll happily pay that into 15 no drama and this if it's not broken so i dropped it when i was in the shop there you go it's fine nice bit of art glassware it's a dog the brand is no bill or something like that it does have a signature here as well saying designed by i think it says something powiska i can't i can't see the words i've never heard of it before but it was two pounds fifty i looked in the shop and i saw solds up to 25 to 30 pound pre-owned different designs so two pounds fifty i took a punt on that one really really nice sort of like art glass type thing not my cup of tea but somebody else's cup of tea isn't it i'm just here to serve people their tea all links to everything that I use in my eBay and my YouTube journey are down below. They help me run my business a lot more smoothly. So feel free to go down and check those out. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.